everybody welcome back to another video and in this one today we are going to be doing the highly requested tutorial on my vacuum engine now I got a handful of requests from a bunch of different people saying that I should do a tutorial and so I decided to do one and I apologize I haven't uploaded in a while I've been a bit busy with stuff so um, I will try and start uploading more often and yeah so this will be a two-part series and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the cylinder the piston and the base along with the flywheel so yeah and in the next part we'll obviously be doing the carb the um, throttle valve and the valve itself as well as that crank too so yeah Without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So I quickly want to point out that this is what we're going to be building today. And like I said, this is the flywheel, the cylinder, the stands, and also the piston. I also want to mention that um, I will not be doing a completely brick by brick tutorial. Um, for instance, for these stands, you can see they're pretty basic. They're just a bunch of layers that I've made. So obviously I won't be doing put this layer and then this layer and this layer. No, that's gonna take too long. And I like to keep these videos relatively short in, in an attempt to reduce uploading time and as well as convenience to you to the viewers. So yeah, without any further delay, let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a stand for it. So yeah, so stand. So it is consists of three um, pillars that go in a line. So the first layer is four tall, or four studs. So that goes right here and I'm using a 16 by 16 base plate which is actually the ideal size for a normal vacuum engine and we're also going to do a second layer of four so one two three four All right there and it goes four studs in between each of them and then five studs in between there at the very end of the base plate we have five layers so one two three four five and yeah so i'm gonna use i'm just using these technic beams with the holes in them and you're gonna need a, at least um a hole right here for your flywheel and moving along we have the flywheel which will conveniently it's just a uh, uh simple wheel with a long axle through it and a couple of bushings to keep it in place this will go right through the middle hole on here and then you can just stick it on like that so yeah so guys, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the piston. Now this will be the only thing that I will be doing piece by piece because it can be a bit confusing to build. Now, these are the pieces that you'll need and I'll give you time to look it over and do it and get other pieces. So yeah, um, this is a performance piston. So the first thing you want to do is take your 1x5 and your that whatever that piece is and put it together like this and take the two long axle and put it through just like that so the next thing you want to do is grab your two um, four long axles and you're going to put them through the two long um, I don't even know what those are called pieces whatever those are but you can see them so you put them through and you push them through till they're about one one axle one stud length sticking out next you want to take your uh piss your um rod and put it through then take your other thing and put it over like that 
you make sure there's one sticking out on each side. So take your 2 by one with two holes and put it in the axles facing upside down like this. And then you're also going to take the 4x4 four four base plate and put it on the bottom like th or the top like that. So now we have to do the crank shaft. So that we'll be using a one by or a three long axle with a crankshaft piece on the end like this and take a half stud bushing and put it all the way down, thread it through like that. And then you want to take your piston itself and you're going to put it through just like that. Next, take another half stud bushing, put it over like this and make sure it's not too tight, then put the other crankshaft piece like this. And there you go, that is your entire piston built. So the next thing that you wanna do is you want to grab it a frame like this, and you're gonna put the piston inside of it. Now I personally feel like this frame gives, it, gives the engine more stability overall, and it helps to improve performance. So all you wanna do is grab a too long axle and put it through the middle hole with the crankshaft on it. And that'll act, and this will actually be where the um, valve crank will be going and will be attaching to. Next, you want to grab your uh, your base with the flywheel. Let me just the camera, and you're basically just gonna put it on and make sure it properly attaches to the flywheel axle, and you're gonna push it off like this and there you go that is the completed base and now we can start working on the cylinder wall so from here on out it is pretty straightforward um, we are going to start creating the cylinder walls so firstly what you want to do is you want to just build up three layers so one two three and make sure that this third top layer extends out a little bit and has things that go up like this. So this is a 2x8 and two 2x6s. So that'll just go on the end of our frame like this. And you're going to make a mirrored copy of this. So I have that. And that'll just go on like that. So yeah, that is the bottom base layer. Next, you want to take a you're going to make four walls. This is going to be wall number one, which is a clear piece, and I have. Wall number two will be a three layers of one by sixes, which will be going on the front right here. Next layer will be a layer of three four by ones, and this will go on the opposite side like this and the fourth layer will be another thing of three one by sixes this time with two one by ones on the top like this and there you go that is a completed cylinder wall and yeah you want to make sure that it it runs smooth so i have I have already sanded down these walls, so I just rub them against some sandpaper for a minute or two, and they get real smooth. As you can see, the engine runs really smooth and comes very smoothly to a stop. And yeah, so <clears throat> the next thing that you want to do is you're going to take three 1x4s. They don't have to be any particular color or shape. And you're just going to put them around the top like this. So one here, one here, and finally one on this side. And believe it or not, that is actually the entire first part of the engine built. Now, if you're wondering, on these sides are going to be where the carburetor attaches, but that'll be for part two. 
So if you don't, if you want to watch that tutorial, be sure to stay tuned, and I will hopefully have that up within the next few days. If not, maybe tomorrow. But as I said, this was a highly requested tutorial or video. So I do appreciate your suggestions if you have anything that you want me to do. And I will get to it. I read your comments. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.